Yeah, welcome everybody. This is Designs for Zen by Riftwing Designs. And today we're doing Stephen Universe themed yoga for stress and anxiety. And as you can see on the bottom here, we've got a link. It's also in the chat for the playlist. This is Stephen Universe and it's going to be on Spotify. So if you have premium, you're set. If not, I apologize if there's any weird ads that come on in between. We're gonna be using this. So try and get it to play in order. If not, I will cue you for the song that has to be Savasana during this, and we'll get started. So first off, again, I am Rifting Designs. Also, Peridot, you guys are clods. So <laughs> um, this is based off of the mindful uh, meditation, right? The mindful education from the episode with Garnet and Stevani. And I wanted to have some fun with it, obviously, respecting that we're in some crazy times right now with the Black Lives Matter movement, and we want to respect them as well. It's been tough, it's been really tough. So as we get started, realize that there's a lot of feelings and that all of them are valid. Love you guys. So if you've got your playlist, we're gonna try and do a little countdown and start at the same time. So get your fingers over your Spotify buttons, get that link going. And I'm gonna say three, two, one, go. Okay. <laughs> Again, today we're going to be doing a slow flow class. You'll need your mat and a blanket uh, if you need to, because there are some, a lot of poses that you're going to be on your knees for. So we want to make sure you're comfortable. There's no wrong way of doing yoga. I like to go with the Bob Ross way of yoga, which is that everything is going to work for you. And there's no wrong way to do yoga unless it's painful. So no pain no pain. <laughs> There's no gain here at all, guys. So make sure if you feel uncomfortable, come back to an easy seat or to child's pose or a restful position. Don't strain yourself. There's a lot of misconception that I'm learning about in my yoga teacher training, which says like, you cannot compare yourself to others. Your poses can't be compared to others. And that's really the big thing, right? Don't push yourself to do something. It's actually more yogi-like to step back and to not do that pose and to allow your body time to get into it rather than push yourself. So don't push yourself, don't go into pain. And again, this will be a nice slow flow class for the next hour. To start off with, we're gonna get into our mindful education here. So find an easy seat, whether it's cross-legged, in a chair, whatever works for you. I'm gonna to start to slow down here. You can have a gentle gaze or maybe close your eyes. Start to notice your feelings. Again, your feelings are valid. Whether you're tired or upset, angry, depressed, nervous, maybe you're relaxed or looking forward to something. Take a few minutes here to notice your feelings. Because this is a slow yoga, Acknowledge that those feelings may manifest themselves. They may come up. You may feel crying and that's okay. You may feel angry or frustrated at yourself or the world. Acknowledge those feelings and let them express themselves here. This is a safe space, especially because like all of my Twitch streams, you guys are behind my screen. No one's going to see it except you. Take time for yourself for the next hour. And we're gonna start off with a breathing exercise and a mudra, which is a hand position. So mudras are like a symbolic seal. You'll often see folks come to prayer pose, which is like this. But for this one, we're going to go into a Kalispara mudra. So for this one, you're gonna to touch the tips of your middle fingers together and then touch uh, your thumbs uh, so it's kind of funny. So middle fingers together and then the knuckles of the first finger and the thumbs, okay? And then the knuckles of the two back fingers. So you're making like a little heart to yourself. And if this doesn't work, you can just do prayer. <laughs> and this is also a mudra. And so again, these are just symbolic gestures. So middle finger together, first knuckles together, thumbs together, and then the back knuckles together to give yourself a little heart. Give yourself some love. So take that thumb, point the elbows out, find what works for you here. And 
And with this, get myself back into my mudra. This is a hand gesture to calm the mind and help you to find balance. Take control of your thoughts and emotions. Mudras help to direct the flow of your energy within the body. And each has a particular focus or symbolism. So for this one, again, we're dedicating it to time and helping to shift our minds to clarity and to bring down feelings of nervousness and to calm your mind. Again, if this doesn't work for you or you don't want to practice it, you don't have to. Your hands can be on your knees. Your hands can be together at your chest, over your heart. This is your practice. Make it yours. Recognizing your feelings here. Going back to our mindful education theme, Garnet, a hero from Steven Universe, who's a fusion of two loving gems, teaches a lesson in balance, not only for regular lives, but also for the power of that fusion and love. She's instructing a fusion of Steven and Connie, called Stevani, who starts training in mindful meditation. Literally, their hands are in a mudra. It's actually around the throat to help with communication. And for that, Garnet explains to Stevani that to find balance, you have to understand your feelings. To understand your feelings, you have to see them clearly and not run from them. Don't push them away. Don't hide them. Right now is the time to let them out. And again, let them out safely. So if you ever feel any worry or harm or negativity, I encourage you. In fact, I would like to demand that you do seek help because this is not just about you. It's about making sure that you're safe and you can continue to be loving and you have to take care of yourself first. So acknowledge your thoughts and tell yourself it's okay to have those thoughts. There is a lot going on and there's probably a lot that is in your past that's coming back. It's okay to have those thoughts. Allow yourself to let them go. Allow yourself to experience those thoughts and let them go. Just breathe. We're starting the same way as mindful education with an easy seat in that mudra to focus your attention. In yoga, you use the mudra in the beginning of class to help to set an intention or a goal. Something to focus your mind on. If it starts to wander, you can come right back to that intention. If you have a specific intention, make it now. And if you'd like, I offer you the mantra from the song Little Beginner Savasana. Take a moment to think of just flexibility, love, and trust. Take a deep breath here and let it go. One more deep breath and a really loud exhale. Inhale and seal it with that deep breath. I now invite you to practice breath work with me. Just like this mudra or hand gesture, if you don't feel that the breath work is resonating with you, just focus on your normal breath and then have a comfy seat. If this mudra no longer works for you, you're welcome to put your hands back down on your legs or a prayer pose, whatever's comfortable for you. Again, if it doesn't resonate with you now, just try practicing mindfulness, noticing those thoughts, acknowledging them and letting them go away. To begin with, just notice your breath. Is it deep or shallow? Is it in the throat or the belly? What is the temperature as you inhale? Do you feel the heat as you exhale? Begin to come to an even breath. 
Deepening it a little bit, using your belly and your diaphragm to inhale. Maybe you put your hand over your diaphragm if that helps you out. Remember, there's no wrong way to do this. The only wrong way is if there's pain. Again, we're going to do an even breath, and I'm going to count, and then I'm going to let you go. So first, get ready for your inhale, and inhale for four. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three. Four. Inhale. Two. Three. Four. And exhale. Two. Three. Four. Continue. At your own pace. If you want to go shorter, go shorter. If you want to lengthen to six, do that. There's no wrong way. Focus on your breathing. And if your thoughts wander, acknowledge them and come back to the breath, keeping that count even. One more cycle. And on the next inhale for four, so inhale, two, three, four. Try holding your breath, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Hold it out, two, three, four. Good, inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. Exhale. Two, three, four, and hold. You got this. Three, four. Continue. Maybe holding your breath at each end, or maybe you just continue those even breaths. Finding what resonates with you in this practice. One more cycle. And I'll offer you one more type of breathing. This is called the Ujjayi or oceanic breath. So you inhale deeply here. And on the exhale, you're actually making a sound in your throat like you're fogging up the glass on a mirror. So it's like, <sighs> but it's really deep in your throat. So try and fogging a mirror. So inhale, exhale. <sighs> it should sound like the ocean on your exhale. Try and do it with your mouth closed to make that even more resonating in your head. If this works for you, the Ujjayi breath can help to relieve tension and regulate your breath and blood pressure because it's really helping to oxygenate your blood and warm your body. So maybe you do a little more. Find whichever breath or not that works for you and you'll have three more breaths here. Come back to normal breath and remember that you can come back here at any time during your practice. It's your practice and make it what you want. All right, so to get started, we're going to just again find that easy seat. We're going to do some shoulder shrugs. You know, I love opening with that shoulders rolling and I like that four points. So rolling forward, up, back and down or maybe you do circles again what works for you your hands can be down here you don't have to keep them in that mudra move where your body needs to another rule of yoga is if you go one way you must go the other so go backwards up forward and down for a few to even out All right, then come to stillness. On an inhale, raise your arms up and just stretch. 
Raising your arms up, but then roll your shoulders back and down, keeping it open. And then maybe reach up again, letting those shoulders go up, and then lower the shoulders down. One more time, up. Pulling yourself up, keeping that spine straight. And then steadiness, lower the shoulder blades back and down. On your next inhale, up. Exhale, rotating over to the left. Twisting here. Your back hand can be placed on the ground or grab your shirt, or maybe it's just to the side. Find what works for you here. On the inhale, maybe you let it go a little bit and straighten up. And on the exhale, maybe you twist a little more. Breathing here. On the next inhale, raise your hands back up. Exhale, other side. Looking back. Finding the placement of your hands that works for you. Inhale, maybe you let go just a little bit, and then exhale, maybe twist a little more. Remember, no pain. Inhaling and exhaling. One more breath here. Come back to center. And then maybe you exhale and do a little forward fold if that works for you. And if not, just lower down your hands. And then come back up. Inhale again, raising your hands. Exhale, lower them in front of you. I'm going to do the Macarena. So you're putting one hand out, putting the other hand in the palm and just stretching those wrists. We need to do that because I know you guys all spend time on the computer like me. Breathing here. Maybe pull the shoulder blades back. Yeah, we're already getting a workout, just stretching. And then release. Other hand, palm up. That opposite hand rests and just gently stretches the wrist. Just gently, just gently. Maybe pulling those shoulder blades back and down again. Breathing. And then both hands out and give yourself a hug, okay? First self-love. Make it as tight as you want. Maybe find some motion here. You are loved. You are deserving of love. Breathe here. And when you're ready, you can let go. I know that felt really good for me. Let's do some neck rolls. Okay, so lower your head down and gently roll from side to side, going at your own pace. If there's a place that sticks, maybe you stay there and just rock your head back and forth. I recommend not going fully around your head yet. Wait to warm up first. Roll that head, find any sticking points. And if you'd like, maybe you pause on the right, lowering that head to shoulder. Maybe you take that same arm and gently rest on your head, giving yourself just a little more. And again, that opposite arm can come out to emphasize the stretch along your neck. Breathing here, no pain, just stretching. <sighs> And then lower your hand if you have it up. Come back to center. Go to the other side. Again, you're welcome to rest your hand on the head. Gently, gently, gently. Find what works for you here. Breathing. Stretching where you need to stretch today. And then exhale. Come back to center. Find any other stretches, neck rolls, shoulder rolls. Do what you need to fully relax your neck and shoulders. All right, so now if you need a blanket like me and you've got some sensitive knees or anything else that you want to pad, we're going to do that now. So I like to put it down at the end of my mat so I can just keep my knees on it and not have to worry about it because I don't have one of those fancy thick mats. And if you don't, you can always put up a towel or um, even a pillow, something that is nice and flat if you have those flat pillows. So to start off, we're going to come to tabletop here. So that is all fours. Your knees should be shoulder width apart and your hands should be underneath your shoulders. And when you press down, press down with the whole outside and inside of the hand, but not in the middle. And make sure to use your fingertips too. So focus on that. Maybe here, you press on each part of the finger just to feel the balance 
in the hands, okay? You should be looking down with a neutral head. Maybe you drop your head a little bit and just rock and roll it here. Find what works for you. Okay, then we're gonna do some cat-cow. So for cat, you exhale and push the back up. For cow, you're pushing your chest, really moving from the chest, shining it through your hands, looking up maybe a little if it doesn't hurt. Exhaling through cat, inhaling into cow at your own pace. Remember to push in the backs of your feet so the tops of your feet are pressing down too. So really finding even motion. Notice how the movement should be originating between your shoulder blades here. Maybe you have a little bend in those arms. Finding what works for you here. And if you want, you can welcome some movement, maybe swaying from side to side. This is your practice, do what works for you. Okay, and then come to stillness. We're gonna be doing some arm movements here. So to start off with, get your balance so that you can lift up your right hand. Once you've got that inhaling to lift up, maybe looking at that hand. Exhaling to lower like you're gonna grab your ribs if you can do that, or just reaching under. It's to really warm up that shoulder blade. So inhale up, exhale around and down. And one more time, inhaling up, exhaling around and down. And now this last one, we're gonna inhale up and we're gonna thread the needle. So your arm is gonna be going underneath. And this time, if it's open for you, you're gonna lower onto that shoulder and then lower your head down option to take your hand, the opposite hand out in front of you, or you can raise it up and put it behind your back, bind. Okay, finding what works for you. If this doesn't work, you can go right back to your tabletop. Breathing. This should feel really nice. And if it doesn't feel nice, move to what works for you. Remember, no pain. Two more breaths here. If you're in your bind, unwind. Get your hand underneath your shoulder and on. Open yourself up. Raise that hand one more time. Oh, and then put it down. Even yourself out here. And then we're going to do the other side. So inhaling up. Exhaling down and under. This side may feel different. Notice as you flow. Up. Exhale down. One more time, down and around. And this time coming up and getting ready to thread the needle on the other side. Exhaling as you sweep that arm underneath, lowering to the shoulder here, head down, and your arm can either go forward or you can put it behind in a bind. Breathing here, finding what works for you on this side. Slowly unwind. Sliding your way back to your table. Noticing how your body feels now after that. All right, now that we've done that, focus on child's pose. So maybe you widen your knees a little bit, put your toes together, and then you lower back. So this is like kind of what it looks like seated, but to do child's pose, you walk your hands out and you lower down to what works for you. If you need to, you can put a blanket or a pillow underneath, maybe underneath your body or your chest here. And the, ideally, if it works, you can also lower your head. And here you can rock your forehead back and forth to give your forehead a little massage. Your arms can be forward, or if your shoulders don't like that, your hands can also go behind you, wrapping around your legs. This child's pose will be your home base. If any movement does not work for you, you can go back to that easy seat or you can go into the child's pose. So one more breath here. And now we're gonna go lifting back up the tabletop. So again, as we're doing, we're gonna do a flow, which is movement through and back. Maybe you keep your knees at that hips width apart for this. So we're in table here. Now you can go into either like a yogi push-up or chaturanga with your knees up or down. 
or just lower yourself down to the ground. Cobra, baby cobra, is where you have your hands in front of you, underneath your shoulders, and you gently lift your chest, moving from the chest again, and then lower down. Then plant your hands and push back through a table into your child's pose. This is going to be our flow. So let's try that again. Back to the middle, maybe a little push up. Maybe you have to adjust your arms, lowering down. One breath, then raise into baby cobra, and then push back. Focus on pairing your breath and movement here, so we'll do it one more time. Inhaling as you're lifting up to your push-up, exhaling into the push-up, resting, and then inhale, lift, baby cobra. Exhale down. Exhale as you're pushing yourself back up and down into your child's pose. Again, if this doesn't work for you, you're welcome to do a normal flow too, or just sit and breathe. Find what works for you here. We're gonna go into tabletop again here. We're gonna do our leg stretches now that we got our arms done. So first off, we're gonna take one leg, lift it up, and rotate through the hip. Your foot can be flexed or it can be pointing, whatever works here. Just doing some circles. And do them in both directions. And then maybe come to stillness, lower down for a second. Then inhale, lifting up, pushing through your heel here. And if you'd like, you can even do some leg lifts here and get a little work on your glutes. Remember to focus on where your hands are pressing into the ground. Keep breathing. And then exhale, twist it over your other leg and look to that side where your foot is for a little twist if it works for you. If not, just get into the table and breathe. And then I always like to exhale and sweep that foot ahead. Just get a little stretch here and then drag it in. Now you know we have to do the other side. I'm going to turn just so you can see it better. Inhaling, lifting that leg, doing your hip stretches. Whatever works for you, big circles or small circles. Remember to go both directions. Exhaling, come back to stillness. One breath and lift up, pushing back with your heel here like you're kicking into a wall and maybe you invite some movement. And focusing your weight evenly on that back foot, knee, and hands. Breathing here. You got this. A couple more. And then cross it over the other way. Look at that foot. Breathing. And then sweep it out and around for a little baby stretch. Come back to your tabletop. All right. Guys, we've been at it for half an hour already. How you feeling? Take a breath here, maybe get a drink of water if you need to. That actually sounds like a fantastic idea. Okay, we're gonna go back down into our child's pose. We're gonna do one flow here. Inhaling up, exhaling as you go into your little push up, lowering down. Inhaling to lift in the baby cobra, exhaling. Push yourself back and through. Awesome. Breathing in child's pose. Maybe your arms go in a different position this time. If you've been keeping them forward, maybe try going back. And then we're gonna come back to table again. And this time, we're actually gonna push into our down dog. So if this is in your practice, you're planting your back feet. Maybe you need to move your mat or your <laughs> towel. You're gonna plant those feet and then push up into your down dog. Okay, this is all it is. Maybe you keep those knees bent. It'll help you to fit into it better, especially because this is our first one. Let your head hang loose here, but look towards your legs. And then on your next inhale, walk your feet towards your hands. We're gonna come into our forward fold. So you're just leaning forward. I'm turning just so you guys can see. And then if you want, you can grab your elbows into ragdoll. Keep your knees bent here. Invite some movement swinging around. Let that neck go. Your neck is where all the tension is. Just let it go. Breathing here. Maybe you come back to that intention. Flexibility, love, and trust. Love yourself, whatever you can do today. 
and coming to stillness here. Maybe you let those hands down wherever they are. Inhale, you're gonna halfway lift, hands to shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up, whichever way works for you, hands above your head. And then draw your hands to your chest and for a breath, and then lower into mountain, which is just standing with hips distance apart, hands down, palms forward. Mountain breathing here. All right, we're gonna do a forward fold here. So inhale, bring your hands up. Exhaling, folding all the way down. Option here for a full vinyasa if you want to. Otherwise, what I will say is that you step back. Maybe you go into a push-up pose or maybe you put those knees down and you just flow into that baby cobra and push back into your child's pose. Okay, now we're gonna do one more. So for this one, inhale into table, taking that foot, or you can do down dog here if you want. That back foot, you're gonna step forward between your hands, and we're gonna go into a low lunge. Now, if you're from your dog, you can do a high or a low lunge from here, just like this. Option again to take your hands into that mudra, hands to chest here, breathing in the lunge. Maybe you have to walk one foot out to make it wider. Find what's comfortable for you. And then let your hands go. Place them outside on either side of the foot. And find a way to walk yourself forward. And if it's awkward, that's okay. We're going back into the forward fold one more time. Inhaling, halfway lift. This time in our forward fold, the option for gorilla, which means that you are placing your hands underneath your feet. So you raise the tops of your feet, keeping the heels down. And you step on your palms. Maybe you keep those knees bent, but your toes should be massaging your hands if this works for you. Keep the elbows bent, keep the head loose, and maybe straighten a little bit just to feel the stretch, stretch in your shoulders, stretch in your arms, and then let those hands go. Come back to your normal fold. Inhaling, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhaling all the way up one more time, raising your hands above your head. Hands to heart center for a breath. Back to your mountain. Exhaling, fold. Step back with the other foot this time. And then go through your flow, whether that's your normal flow or you go into the adjusted baby cobra. Back to your dog or your child's pose here. We're gonna do the other side. So this time you're gonna lift up, it should be the left foot, stepping through, low lunge, other side. Again, hands can come to prayer, they can stay down on your legs or you can try that mudra. Maybe again, you have to walk that foot out. Find what works for you. Good. One more breath. Plant the hands, find your way into that forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhaling, folding. Planting the hands, stepping that foot back. And again, into your push-up, chaturanga flow. You're going to find your way back into child's pose or one more down dog. Okay, we've got time for a couple more. So from here, we're going to go into our tabletop. We're going to do our gate pose. So for here, what it's going to look like is you're in your tabletop. You're going to extend one foot out to the side if it works for you, trying to plant those toes and, and your, the back of your foot. So the whole of the foot should be down. And then walk yourself up using your core to lift, 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 lift. Find your center. Inhaling your hands here. And then the hand goes down. It's on the same side as your leg. And maybe you do a little bend. Doesn't have to be big. Breathe here. Okay. That back leg should be bent and out. Should be no pain. Inhale, hands up. Maybe exhale, you go to the other side, plant the hand and try and do like a little side angle here. Inhale up, using that core, lift, 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 yes. And then bring that foot down and just go to the other side. Ta-da! Okay, on the inhale, 
hands up, exhale, over that other leg. Notice how different it feels on this side. Breathe here. Inhale, lift yourself up, exhale, other side. Again, using your core. There you go. Breathing here. Inhale again, lifting up with your core. Great job, guys. And then come back into, you're on your knees, standing up here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower down to one side and kick those feet out into staff. So it's literally just sitting with your feet forward. <laughs> but that's staff pose, so congratulations, guys. That's another pose for you today. For here, if you would like, we're gonna do a reverse table, and if not, just sit here, flex those feet, breathe. So for reverse table, it's literally like you're planting your feet like a plank, hands down with your fingers pointing forward. <sighs> Exhale, and then on the inhale, lifting up, pushing through the toes. And again, this might be too much for your shoulders, find what works for you. Just a couple breaths here. Pressing through the toes, and exhale, let yourself down. Whew. All right. <sighs> now we're going to take one knee in, and then we're just going to fold over that leg. And if you want, you can bend your back here and get a nice deep fold, or if it doesn't work, find what works for you. Two more breaths. Inhaling. Other side, so straightening the other leg, pulling your knee in. Inhaling, hands up. Exhale, folding over as much as your body wants to go today. You don't have to touch your toes. You can grab your leg, or you can just gently bend. Breathing. Again, Bob Ross style, whatever works for you. Okay, we're going to do one more really fun pose. This is for stress relief. So we're going to roll back onto our knees. And we're going to sit down on our feet if that works. If not, you can put a pillow or something in between your legs. We're going to do a folded child's pose. So keep your legs like this and try and walk out into that child's pose here. And ideally for the next pose, you will need to get your head down planting the crown of your head. So the very top of your head, planting it down and then lifting. Hands can go where they need to here. And the idea is from here, without too much weight on your neck, just planting through the crown of your head, very, very centered weight. You're gonna close your eyes and you're gonna hum and feel the vibrations through your head. <laughs> Ready? Slowly come out of that, minding your neck. Ah, that's something fun. And now we're gonna start to relax. So let's walk back down onto our belly. Just flop down, guys, you got this. I'm actually gonna move my blanket out of the way. All right, this should feel really good. So now I take your hands. Plant them under your shoulders and just lift up into that baby cobra one more time. Maybe this time you raise your hands just a little, lifting to the shoulder. Option here, if you have frog in your practice, you can do full frog or half frog, which is taking a leg, bending it like 90 degrees and landing it next to you. Or if this doesn't work for you, just stay laying. And we're going to do hugging the earth. So we hugged ourselves, but now we got to hug planet earth. So take your arms wide and just hug. Hopefully you heard that as a little muffler. <laughs> Hug the planet with your cheek resting to one side.
the other side. And if you're just laying, tilt your head so the other cheek touches. Breathing. Noticing any thoughts that pass by. All right, next you're gonna take your hands out or you can leave them where they are, but you're gonna lift one leg, maybe bend the knee, and you're gonna just rotate and do a twist from the legs, keeping your hands and shoulders down. Maybe you can plant your toes or maybe you're just kind of hovering. Only what works for you so that the spine is being twisted here. And maybe you bend that lower leg to help, or maybe you just rotate from here and keep your knees bent like this. Even here. Noticing those thoughts and letting them float away like butterflies. Well, we come back to center. And then to the other side, twisting your lower body. Breathing, noticing any thoughts. And then all you gotta do is roll over onto your back. Option here, if you'd like to go through your vinyasa, we're going into a modified pigeon, so you're allowed to do this full pigeon here. On your back, knees towards your hips, feet planted, hands down, shoulder blades out. Just feel your body here. Now that you've hugged the earth on, on the front, the prone, now we're gonna do it on your back and supine. So start off with, lift one foot up, and you're gonna be crossing it over, so I'm just showing you here. Over the knee, so ankle over opposite knee. And you can stay here, you can push it with one hand, or you can grab that leg with both hands, either on the top or bottom of the leg, finding what works for you if you're not in your half pigeon. Take any other movements as you need. Maybe if it was in your hands, you lower here. And now here's a cool one. Keeping your knees crossed if you are in the on your back, figure four, you can actually just plant your hands and lower towards the way that your raised foot is and plant that raised foot for another twist. If you're in your pigeon here, start walking yourself back up, maybe finding some movement. And if you run that half pigeon, you can go back to whatever pose you need to set up on the other side. For those of you on your backs, raise your legs back up and everybody go into your pigeon or figure four on the other side. So crossing that other leg over, finding where your hands want to be. Settling into the pose. Just like this. Whatever works for you. And again, if you're on your back here, maybe you let that foot fall to the ground, doing a twist on the other side. If you're in your half pigeon, come on back up and find your way onto your back. For those of you that were in that twist, come back up. Everybody on your back, pull those knees in. Give yourself another hug, this time laying on your back. Maybe you want to go into a full ball, or maybe just like this. We're going to do one more set of twists if you want, or if not, just lay back. So on your exhale, straightening one leg, keeping a knee in, holding it at the knee. On the exhale, do 
Just twist, guiding with your hand that knee across, keeping your shoulders planted here. Maybe you're looking at the opposite arm. Breathing. Thanking your body for all the work it did. Inhaling, draw your knee back up. Give it one more hug. Maybe roll your ankle here before you lower it back down. And then draw the other leg in. Give it a hug and then guiding with your hand, twist over to the other side, keeping your shoulder blades planted here. Maybe looking at that opposite arm. Breathing, finding what works for you today. On your next inhale, draw that leg back up. Give it a hug, maybe move that ankle around, find any other movements you need. And we're gonna do one more option pose before we go into our final rest, and that is legs up the wall. So for this, hopefully you have a wall. If not, maybe you need to scooch around, or if you have a couch or a chair, this works perfectly too, or a box. Anything that's like more than two feet off the ground. <laughs> So what you're going to do is you're going to scooch up and have your hip next to the wall or the couch or the chair right next to it. And then you're going to use your hands again. If this is in your practice, if not, you can just lay back and draw your knees in, but you're going to lower down um, and then lift up your feet and then kind of use your elbows to scooch yourself around. You want your hips to be right next to the wall. If this works for you, if not, um, or if it's on a couch, as long as your legs are reaching up and your feet are above your heart. The idea here is that the blood is now going opposite and it's helping to oxygenate your body. So one last bit of restorative here. Your hands can go anywhere. They can be wide or maybe they are like goalposts. Uh, if you want to do another shoulder stretch, your feet can be relaxed. Or if you want, you can actually put your feet on the wall or if it's on the couch, obviously your knees are bent. So find what works for you. We're going to be here for just a minute. Breathe here. Noticing those thoughts and let them fly away like butterflies. Notice how your body feels now. My legs are slightly shaking and that's okay. My breath is deep. Maybe you come back into an even breath. Just one more minute here. As we move into Savasana, if you want to stay in this pose for the final rest, you are welcome to. And if you're not, try to find a non-injury way to get yourself back to the ground. For Savasana, corpse pose, your final rest, all you're doing is laying down, keeping your legs wide, hands out, neck down, just touching the earth in all these places, making any final movements, or maybe you use that blanket to cover up because you are going to cool down here. So find your final rest and then close your eyes. Begin to come back to your breath here. Noticing 
the words of the songs as they play. Surrender to the stillness, whether or not it's comfortable. You're going to have a full five minutes here, and I will call you out of it. So again, get that wonderful playlist going. Find yourself a comfortable place. Notice your thoughts and allow them again to float away, acknowledging your thoughts. Tell yourself it's okay to have those thoughts and then allow yourself to let them go. I'll call you back out in a few minutes. Remain where you are as I take you through a few final thoughts. 
In Little Home School, Garnet continues to guide other gems. A quote that she said in the first episode of Steven Universe Future, find your center, your very core. Remember, your body is not just a reflection of light, but also a reflection of your inner soul. Thank your body again for being with you during this practice. And Amethyst in friendship said, understand you have an impact too. You are your own gem. You control your own destiny. You must choose your own destiny so you can move forward. And again, take a moment to think of just flexibility, love, and trust. Start to find some gentle movements in your toes and fingers. Maybe deepening your breath and rolling your wrists and ankles. Maybe rocking your head from side to side, giving the back of your head a little bit more of a rub. And then on the inhale, make yourself into a big stretch, just like you're waking up. And as you're comfortable, roll to one side. Take three deep breaths here. In the in-between, knowing that you took time for yourself, and that whatever comes next, this is a new beginning. Find your destiny. Know that you're worth it. And know that we all need to be flexible and have love and trust. Roll now up into a seated position, finding yourself back, maybe keeping those eyes closed or invite a gentle gaze. Again, that comfortable seat that we all started in. An hour later, where are you now? Take two more breaths just to find your own stillness. On your next inhale, raise your hands up. Exhale down. Inhale back up again. Exhaling, drawing your hands to heart center or perhaps finding that mudra one more time. Deep breath in here and let it all go. <sighs> Inhaling again, let everything go. <sighs> Inhaling, draw your knuckles to your forehead, the center of intuition and thought. Thanking yourself for this practice, and I thank you for this practice as well. The love and light in me acknowledges and honors the love and light in you. Thank you for sharing this practice with me, and I wish you the very best for today and always. Namaste. Thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate you spending time with me today. Again, I am Riffwing Designs and I will be here every few weeks. So post to me on social media and I'd be glad to share more yoga with you. Thank you everybody.